at the police station in Lower Hutt, not in any trouble, but very keen to find out more about search and rescue operations. And this is Luke, who is a police officer and works on lots of search and rescues. Luke, the general search and rescues that you do, how do you know that they need to be done in the first place? Who alerts you? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, we get alerted in a couple of different ways. Normally it's the police communication centre, so that's you just ring 111 and ask for the police and then they call us. Sometimes it's the rescue coordination centre and we also get calls from ambulance as well. Sometimes people call the ambulance first and they pass it on to us. Fantastic and it was really interesting to see at the rescue coordination centre how they respond to those loca locator beacons yeah. and um, organise from there. So when you're about to do a land search and rescue, how do you go about it? Um, well, we first decide what sort of person we're looking for. If it's a child, if it's an elderly person, um, that's quite important for us as to how we search. So we've worked that out first. Then we figure out where they were last seen, that we're sure they were last at a certain place. And then we decide from there how we're going to search. Right, and who's involved in that? Uh, the police are involved, um, people like myself on the search and rescue team. We have volunteers as well that help us a lot. It's Landsar, they come in, they will assist us, and we have another group called AREC who will work all the radios and things like you can see behind me. So they are probably the main groups. Excellent, and I imagine that maps are really important. How do you use them? Yeah, maps are very important. Um, so we use them in the planning to Put a point on a map where the person was last seen. We can then put circles around that, how far we think the person may have travelled in the time they've been missing. Um, and we also use maps in the field for the people that are out searching. So they can, they know where they've got to go on the map and they can record where they've been as well. Fantastic. And we're going to be involved in a scenario, a bit of a practice later on today. So looking forward to finding out how that goes and we're going to meet a dog handler so there's a lot of teamwork. There is a lot of teamwork and that's quite key for us you need to be able to play with other people and make sure you work well together. Fantastic hey looking forward to this afternoon but thanks for having us Luke. No you're most welcome it will be fun. Mm -hmm.